Welcome to the Firebug 1.0 beta screencast. Firebug is an extension for Firefox that allows you to easily edit, debug, and monitor CSS, HTML, and JavaScript live on any web page. To get Firebug, go to getfirebug.com and click on the Install Firebug 1.0 beta button. Once installed, you'll see a new addition to the Firefox status bar, a green check mark if the page you're on has loaded without any errors, or a red X if there are errors. To open the Firebug console, click this icon. To inspect the HTML and CSS of the page, click the Inspect button. You'll notice that any element you mouse over will now have a blue border. To lock the Firebug console onto a specific element for further debugging, click it. In the HTML pane, you'll see this element's place in the HTML source tree. In the CSS pane, you'll see all rules applying to this element. What's great about this view is that if a rule has been applied and then overridden later by another rule, you'll see the initial rule as being crossed out. Another great feature of Firebug is the ability to edit the HTML and CSS and see the results live on the page. For example, let's change the text of this link and then change the color of all H3 links. And you'll see the results live on the page. Another great feature of Firebug is the ability to debug and monitor AJAX calls. I've been working on an unofficial API for Campfire the Ajax web chat application from 37signals, and Firebug was instrumental in understanding what was going on during a campfire chat. To see all Ajax calls happening on a page, open the Firebug console and ensure that show XML HTTP requests is checked. We'll clear the current ones. You'll see that every couple seconds, an Ajax request is made to poll.fcgi see if there are any new messages. Let's clear these and then try changing the topic of the room for another example. We'll turn off any future ones. To see more about this request to change the topic, click the arrow beside it. Here you're able to see the headers of the request, the post payload, which should include our new topic, and then finally, the response. Now this barely scratches the surface of what Firebug can do. So head over to firebug.com, getfirebug.com, and try it out for yourself. This is Jesse Newland. Thanks for watching.